So one comma rule in this video. We use commas when we talk about coordinating adjectives. These are two adjectives that occur in a sentence, back to back, a double header, and both the adjectives modify the same noun. If we have adjectives that are coordinating, we insert a comma in between them. So first, let's look at this sentence with as coordinating adjectives. He stared down the picture with intense, comma, intimidating eyes. In order to determine whether adjectives are coordinating or not, we can subject them to two different rules. The first rule, can the coordinating adjectives be reversed in the sentence and still make sense? So let's look at our first sentence with coordinating adjectives. When we switch the adjectives, or we reverse their order, we're left with this sentence. He stared down the picture with intimidating, comma, intense eyes. Yes, that sentence still makes sense. Rule number one, good. The second rule, can the article and be placed between the coordinating adjectives, and can you be still left with a full, complete sentence? So let's go back to our original sentence, and then add and in between them. He stared down the picture with intimidating and intense eyes. The sentence again is correct. The coordinating adjectives meet the requirements for both rules, so they are labeled coordinating adjectives, and a comma is inserted between them. Not all back-to-back -back adjectives are coordinating, however. So first, let's look at this sentence. Wow, that animation takes a long time. Everybody avoid the swivel animation on PowerPoint. <laughs> right? Twelve angry men debated the trial. Twelve and angry are both adjectives, modifying the noun men, but they are not coordinating adjectives. Let's see what happens when we place them to the test. By the way, 12 Angry Men, really good movie, but 12 and angry are not coordinating adjectives. So first, if we reverse the order, angry comma 12 men debated the trial. No, that sentence does not make sense. Ooh, it's not very good. But if we add and in between the two, it still doesn't make sense. 12 and angry men debated the trial? No, 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 it's even worse. It breaks both rules. So we go back, we still have two adjectives back to back, but we do not place a comma between them. 12 angry men debated the trial. We have a correct sentence, we have a good sentence, and Henry Fonda is happy with it. So the two simple rules to determine whether adjectives are coordinating. Can they be reversed and still make sense? Also, can you add and between the adjectives and still have a sentence that is clear. If you do, you add commas between the adjectives and you have successfully created coordinating adjectives.